What's up guys, welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing the highly anticipated Jurassic World 2 The Fallen Kingdom. I feel like I'm like the last person to see this film and going in I actually had some pretty high expectations. I love the first Jurassic Park, I really like Jurassic World, I find that film actually a tons of fun and just really good charisma from the actors and just a good concept, you know, it's nice revisiting this world and I going in I, I knew we weren't going to get the same magic as the first Jurassic Park gave us as seeing the wonders of that world and whatnot. But, you know, it'd be nice to get it again. And Jurassic World 2 doesn't really do that for me, to be honest. It, it, it didn't. I, I'm actually very disappointed in the film. I won't go as far to say this is a horribly made film. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just fine or just good. It's a good film. It's fine at moments. But I think... There's a lot of issues with this film that I had problems with, and the thing that's really disappointed me is Jay Biona is a fantastic director. The guys had two knockout of the parks. You know, you got The Impossible and A Monster Calls, and I was really looking forward to when they said that he's doing Jurassic Park 2. I was like, oh, damn, this is going to be some emotion and stuff. And it, he doesn't have the emotional issues. He does put them in there, and they are nice touches, and they do add some depth to the dinosaurs in the story. But I think the big issue with this film is the script. Um, the script's horrible. I, I did not enjoy the script. I didn't enjoy the story that they put in there. The direction's great. It's just, you can totally tell the director is trying his best to do with what he has with the script. Whatever other director they could have gotten for this, I don't think would have done as great as the job Jay Abona does. I think the direction he does is what makes this film at least tolerable or at least watchable. The film's not bad. The film has great charismatic and chemistry from all of our main actors. No one really annoyed me this time around. I really liked each and every one of the cast members, especially the main cast, the new little girls, great. Chris Pratt's, of course, always fantastic and fun to watch on the screen. Bryce Dallas Howard is enjoyable in this film. I actually liked her a lot more in this film, and I just thought they brought something to her character that I was like, you know, that's nice. Like, I, I thought she was kind of annoying in the first one, but I did like the sensibilities they brought to her character, and I think a lot of that goes to how Jay Biona shot the film and directed it. Dear God, the villain of this film, you probably heard this in other reviews, the villain of this film is horrible. It, I hated the villain. It was just so cliche and so predictable and so mustache twirling, obvious, blank, red flashing light in front of you, and it just did not work for me. It was so cliche and just really pulled the story down and pulled the whole film down in fact and this all goes towards the script nothing against the actor just how they wrote the damn character just did not work all these different kind of villains just never worked for me in this film and the second they started popping on screen i was like man I am not on board with this if this continues. I think that's where it goes for the script. The script is my biggest issue with this film. It, it disappointed me in lots of facts. And I feel like this film starts off on such a high, tremendous act one. Act one is brilliant. I loved act one. And then it gets an act two, kind of dives down a bit. Then it gets an act three, and it's getting up a little bit. And then it just ends. And I'm like, okay, cool. I will say, I liked how it ended. I think the way it ended sets up for a good third film in this franchise. And I'm curious to see what they do with that. Hopefully, there's better writing on that one. Because I think that was the main issue with this one, again. But I'll be their opening day because of what they set up with this film. But I, I feel like this film would have done so much better if you took and somehow tinkered some story elements in there. And moved the third act and moved it all around. So had the third act, the second act, and then the first act being the climax of the story. I think with them being ending up on the island at the end, and that whole island segment you see in the trailers being the third act would have made for a more ferocious film. Because the third act is exciting, but it feels like it's just getting you into the story. It doesn't have any high, tremendous heights or climaxes to it. It just kind of just goes and ends, and you know it's how it's going to end. And yeah, it's Jurassic World 2, The Fallen Kingdom. We'll say this though, I love the CGI in here. The CGI with the dinosaurs looks so much better than Jurassic World. And I thought maybe they used more practical effects. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I did certainly like each and every one of the practical effects and the CGI they used in this. It, it really stuck out to me that all the dinosaurs really looked real and I appreciated that. Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom. It's a fun, enjoyable film. It's just fine. It's just good. Nothing great. Nothing horrible. I enjoyed it for what it was. I shouldn't be saying that about a Jurassic Park movie. And again, I didn't expect the magic to come back. I just expected another good installment in this franchise after what Jurassic World set up. Yes, it goes in predictable routes. The villain's horrible and the script's a mess. But our characters, our main characters, our main actors really do hold it up for what the script is. Jay Biona does the best that he can directing this film. This is easily his worst film, but again, it's not a horrible film. The guy's still going to be able to work, and I think if he just had a better script, I think he would have been in better hands with this film. I 
mention that Jeff Goldblum's barely in this film. Like, come on. I need myself some more Jeff Goldblum. Don't just bring him back to just be in it for a couple minutes. I need myself some Jeff Goldblum. I think it's kind of screwed that they kind of put him in the trailers because you expect for him to be more in it. I feel like it would have been more of a surprise not to have seen him in it. Like, <sighs> like what they're setting up for the third film. I'm hoping they do better. I still recommend it if you're a Jurassic Park fan or you're anticipating the film. Maybe you'll feel different about me. So that's where we're going to talk about it down below in the comments. Of course, I'm going to give Jurassic World 2, The Fallen Kingdom, a C. Curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are on Jurassic World 2, The Fallen Kingdom is. So make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I, I, I'm really curious on this. I'm curious if you guys are mixed like me. Because I am very mixed on this film. Maybe another rewatch will make me like it more. Maybe it'll make me hate it more. Of course, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you're new. I really do appreciate all that. Also, go hit up all my social media links so you guys want to talk more dinosaurs and other things over there. Last but not least, hit up Sandwich on Films down below that website. You guys can hit up there, get into advanced movie screens, movie news, and movie reviews. Tons of films coming out for the rest of year you guys aren't gonna want to miss it so until next time stay classy